like, and kosher deals. Always finding his way to the microphone. And he's like, and he's like, give me props, hardest working guy, da da da. So then I'm like, so it's like, so what's the question? I'm like, well, modest, I have an idea. Well, kosher is, a, he's a really talent. First and foremost, he's really talented. And uh, you can hustle as much as you want, but if a lot of guys hustle a lot but aren't talented. <laughs> Who the heck is that guy? Yamaka to the side, fly, limp, lean, bomb rush, every show with no team. More merch than headliners, get more cream. Wake up at my mom's house, what you do last night? Who the heck is that guy? He's really talented and I've seen him grow tremendously over the last, since I've known him over the last four or five years. I've been down before, I was knew him when, when he was at the bottom. And to see him now, it's, it's very uplifting. But he was at the bottom. He, he, was, he, was, he was at the bottom twice. He's been through some shit in his life. And when you go through some shit in your life, you tend to want to talk about it because it's therapeutic. I want to be like a fucking animal, you know? I never found success with that stuff. How's recovery? Can I actually buy a, a Coca-Cola? The coach has put a lot of his emotion into music and his life into music. He used to hustle Coca-Cola. I asked God, I said, oh, I need to go to meetings, or I need to get arrested, and then I got arrested. And that was it. That was the end. Oof. Done. Shut what was hip hop created on? Hip hop was created on authenticity. It was created on where you come from. So Kosha Dills is the shit. He's representing his heritage. Kosha Dills, like, are you, like, actually, like, heavily Jewish? From a religious perspective, I think maybe this is tied into business. I mean, he's the Jewish rapper. He mouthed to me, are you Jewish, from across the bar. He's got to be in line with what he sings. Stand up for dating? I did. But I just really promote myself. <laughs> I can't stop. Talk about can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. He's someone you remember the the first time you meet him, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know anyone who doesn't remember Kosha Dills. Aside from that catchy name, Kosha Dills. I don't know if you know, it's a play because he's Jewish. Kosher? Kosher sauces? Frankfurters? <laughs> oh, like Modest Yahoo. I'm like, no, it's it's different. Kosher Dills! Oh my God! My homeboy, man, you already know. Star David Power. He's a white Jewish rapper. You may have heard of a Jewish rapper before, but not like this one. It's different. Judaism is like, and I don't push that on nobody, you know? I just, I just push dope music on people. Like, he's talented, he's really good, but he's so um, dedicated to it. I think that sets him apart, too. I can honestly say, Coach Dills may be the hardest, in the top three hardest working people in the music business that I've ever met. It's official, this cat be out here grinding. I'm grinding, and wherever I'm at, I see this cat. We run into Coach everywhere, even in LA, he's everywhere. This guy's a madman on wheels. He shows up at all hip hop events, no matter where you go, you're gonna see this guy at some point. Kid got hustle, that's for damn sure. Good to see you, brother. Crazy news. Music business is, is, is tougher than ever now, because there's, there's a dime a dozen of every person, everybody in the world can rap, can sing. In order to make money and sell an album, it's it's hard. It's the do-it-yourself world now, so you have to be your own everything. We're talking about Kosher Dills, you know, he's a, he's a perfect example of that. 99.9% .9 of it is the hustle. If you got a big truck, stack it up with a bunch of CDs and go out in front of every mall and every record store and go on your block and try to sell it. Grind and hustle. That's what you can do. I see him in every city I go to. He's really one of the hardest working people in show business. Kosher Dills. If you feel that it's real, I'm on trial and I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Connecting with people and making a good presence in social media, he's really good at that. He gets it. You're gonna fucking run up on people and freestyle for them and get everyone to take videos and shit. And awesome. This mad motherfuckers that's talented as shit but don't want to do nothing for themselves. Coach should get up and do it for himself. Like, if I could get like 100 people to tweet out my shit tomorrow by just talking to 100 people. Freestyle rap a lot. I'm gonna be rapping for everyone's website. I'm rapping for everybody tonight. Everyone give me their car and I'll plug their business. Here we go, here we go. I'm a rapper, what do you want? He's an artist that just gets it. A lot, a lot of guys are 
waiting for in like a big break or a record company to push, push a, a big button and, and, and make it happen for them. And he, he's an artist who is not waited around for, for anybody. Don't cheat yourself, treat yourself. So says the Ellis MC right now. His hustle is inspiring. I didn't even really start touring until I met Kosha Bill. He's just taught me a lot about business in general. If there's a stage and, and he wants to get on it, he's going to get on the stage. He jumped up in between people's sets and kind of did some freestyle. He's a grinder, you know? He'll, he'll spend his hard-earned money, worm, worm his way into the show. <laughs> he be everywhere rapping. He loves jumping up on stage and rapping. He's got a lot of heart. Whirlwind Storm, Coach and Dills. The way that he just hustles constantly, I, it's got to get him somewhere. <laughs> Gonna be hustling very hard, but uh, at the same time, he couldn't really fail because he had a cushion at home. I'm almost home in LA, looking to make a new home for myself, try to make it Hollywood status. So now he's off on his own, and uh, now, now the game is on. It's another level of development of Rami, or Kosher Dills, or whatever you want to call him. It's kind of a roller coaster. Goes out and um, and, and makes whatever happen, he can happen, and I think he's built, he's built himself, I think, a pretty strong following, and he'll continue to build himself. Um, he's, got, he's got a lot of hunger. I said, yeah, man, we had this idea to go on tour, and he's like, any, any time, any time, we can come everywhere, and then we rapped, and then we went back and forth, and we started rapping, and I was beatboxing, and then the whole crowd went nuts, and then it was dope. <laughs> and then, and then basically that was it. And, and then he's like, "Yo, come on tour." And we're like, "Well, I guess we'll see you on tour this summer." And after the show, me and Flex and Modest linked up for pictures, and poof, and that was it. The rest is history. That was yesterday. So enjoy your ups and downs. Coach Dills on the microphone, baby. You know it's about to go down. You ever write verses all night, feeling like there's no purpose to life? 2:22 a.m. Do you know where your kids at? Hey, yo, I ain't got no kids. I'm home alone, stressing like yo. You know where my chicks? At?